What is up heroes, this is Manny Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill Blind. In the last episode, we finished up at the hospital and made our way to this antique shop where we really haven't explored much, so... Well, um, uh, let's take a look. I apologize for the, you know, interrupted upload schedule and everything. There's been a lot of things, uh, both good and bad, going on in my life that have kept me away from this, but it is something I've been wanting to get back to, so, well, here I am. Um, I'd imagine we're going to be able to push this aside. How do I... Is it going to let me... Do I just have to, like, get the right angle? There's a trace on the floor that somebody moved the cabinet. Do you want to push the cabinet? There we go. Cue the, uh, The Legend of Zelda, I don't know, jingle for finding a new area. Huh? Did somebody just come in? Harry! Oh, it's the cop! Sybil? That's right, her name is Sybil. Oh, I'm glad you're okay. Are we, like, back in the real world now, or what? Things are worse than I thought. Do you have an idea of what's going on? It's nuts. Sounds like you what don't. What are you doing here? I thought you left town. I saw you go in here, so I followed you. I couldn't get out. All the roads out of town are blocked. Huh. Cars have completely stopped running. The phones and radios are still out, too. What about my daughter? Did you see her? I did see a girl. Uh-oh. Was it Cheryl? I only caught a glimpse of her through the fog. Hmm. I went after her, but she vanished. So she's caught up in this mess, her, too. But... Poor Sybil. And you just let her go? Where was it? On Bachman Road. She was heading towards the lake. On Bachman Road, heading towards the lake. I don't get excited. Lake. It wasn't like she ran off, exactly. There was no place for her to go. The road has been obliterated. Oh, maybe she's a ghosty ghost. So then Cheryl... It was like she was walking on thin air. She's a ghost! Gotta call Luigi. What about you? Anything? <laughs> you wouldn't believe what yeah, we've been through. I met this bizarre woman. Her name's Dahlia Gillespie. Do you know her? That's what you're gonna talk about? Not Dahlia the zombies, Gillespie. not the poltergeist dealio. No. And? She said something about the town being devoured by darkness. Hmm. Gibberish like that. Any idea what it means? Darkness devouring the town. Certainly doesn't sound so good. Must be on drugs. <laughs> That's they quite the jump the there. They sell them to the, the tourists. Still can't figure out who's behind it. None of our leads have panned out. And the investigation is stalled. Oh, so this sounds like it's a legitimate thing. What could drug trafficking have to do with all this? Like drug trafficking is apparently a very big Silent Hill problem. I really don't know. But maybe that's the darkness she was talking about. Drugs equals darkness. I can think of. Hmm. I think that's a bit of a stretch here. Mm. Certainly no advocate of drugs, but... I mean, I guess... I don't have any experience, but I wouldn't be surprised if hallucinogens could lead to something... Some experience maybe like there's this. something back there. Let's have a look. Wait. Wait. We don't know what's back there. I'd better check it out first. Oh, because you're significantly more trained than a I'm cop? I should go. I was gonna say, Sybil should be the no, one to lead the way. I'm going. Harry, you're not a knight in shining armor. I'll cover you from here. Be careful. <laughs> this voice acting is fishy. It's great. Back here on the double. On the double. Okay. Don't worry. Sonic's name Sybil? speeds my game. Yeah? <laughs> Do you know anything about... Well, like some other world, it's like some kind of bad dream. Here we go. What are you talking about? I'm talking about a I'm poltergeist. Sure. I try to make sense of it, but then my mind goes blank. Hmm. Everything's dark there, and I hear sirens in the distance. I met this nurse, Lisa. It's like I was there... But not really. <laughs> but not it's really. It's all a blur. 
like some kind of hallucination, you know? Ooh, we were just talking I about it. I have no idea what you're talking about, Harry. Oh. <laughs> Sounds so disappointed. I was just wondering. Never mind. Harry. You're tired. True. Yeah, maybe. But I don't know, these are some pretty intense hallucinations for simply being tired. Alright. Alright, so we're exploring back here. Before the cop explores it because, I don't know, we think we're some knight in shining armor. Let's, uh, let's get reacquainted with our menus and everything because it has been a minute. Our health, we're doing pretty fine. We still have this weird fluoros thing. We have this unknown liquid. We have the videotape. We looked at it though, right? And then, so I don't know why we're hanging on to it, but okay. We have five health drinks, we have 11 first aid kits, we have three of the ampoules, we have 36 handgun bullets. Which is worth noting, that's a lot lower than the hundred something we had at the beginning of the hospital. So I am gonna be using this, uh, this fire axe. Fire axe, is, well that's what it looks like, but it's a hammer in the meantime. The flashlight is on. So we'll progress. What are we gonna find in here? I feel like this is gonna be a poltergeist, like an alternate version of the antique store or something like that. Whoa, What's some this? sort of altar? Some kind of altar? For Never what? Seen anything like this before? Wait, who owns the Maybe antique this shop? This is the other church. The other church? Is that what Dahlia referred to? Some kind of powder is left in the chalice. A powder. Can we take it? Can we use anything we have with it? The red liquid, maybe? No. The videotape? <laughs> the, uh, the Floros? We can't even use this. Okay, well, I guess it might be worth noting that the powder is here. And come back to it later, I guess. Wonder what they worship? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, it looks like a cross of some sort? I don't know, it's really tough to tell, honestly. So if this is that other church, I mean, what else are we supposed to find in here, right? Oh, wait a minute, what? Did we, like, come through here? Where did we even walk through? Did the, like, hole in the wall we just walked through disappear? Or is that, like, right here? I think that's right there. Okay. Then let's see what we've got going on here. There's an axe. Ooh, I am, I am down for, uh, for using an axe. I was just talking about, or mistaking this hammer for an axe. So let's give it a go. Small one hand axe, moderately effective as a weapon. Highly damaging but hard to use. Moderately effective, that doesn't instill much confidence. <laughs> let's see here. Okay, it at least seems like decently quick, right? Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. Um, can we light this on fire? It looked like there was like a, I don't know, this doesn't, oh no, that's just from the perspective of the altar being relatively far away. Okay. Anything we can read on there? No. All right. Well, I guess we'll note that this altar thing is there. Otherwise we can go in this door or not. <laughs> or not, I guess. All right. We'll take one last stab, or rather swing at this altar. I feel like I don't have anything else to use here, so... We'll be on our merry way. Let the, uh, cop know. What the? Whoa. It started burning? Why? What does that mean? Harry? Are you okay? Is she gonna, like, smell the fire? Harry? And assume the worst? Huh? There's no altar for her. Whoa. So we see this altar, and then this fire goes or whatever, and we're transported to Where some poltergeist world, I guess? Harry. 
and not findable by her. And Lisa? now Lisa, this nurse? Then I'm in the hospital? You were having a bad dream. Was I? Hey, you don't look too good. Are you okay? Huh? I'm fine. I'm confused. Nothing you need to worry about. I mean, I'm sure that's intentional. Well, if you're sure. Lisa, do you know a woman named Dahlia Gillespie? Oh yeah, that crazy Gillespie lady. What does Lisa have to say She's about her? She's kind of famous around here. How so? She never sees anybody, so I don't know that much about her. But I heard her kid died in a fire, and supposedly she's been crazy ever since. Hmm. Well, she says the town is being devoured by the darkness. Do you have any idea what she's talking about? Are we not in the darkness right now? The town devoured by the darkness. Yes, I think I do. Before this place was turned into a resort, the townspeople here were on the quiet side. Everybody followed some kind of queer religion. Weird occult stuff. Black magic, that kind of thing. Hmm. As young people moved away, the people figured they'd been summoned by the gods. Interesting. Evidently, things like that used to happen around here all the time. Before the resort, there really wasn't anything else out here. Everyone was so flipped out, gotta blame it on something. Then a lot of new people came in and everybody clammed up about it. A cult. Yeah, that's exactly what it sounds like. The last time I heard anything about it was, gosh, years ago. When several people connected with developing the town died in accidents. People said it was a curse. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rambling. Wait, oh. no. No, this is the information we need, Lisa. Now are we going to go back to the real world? Or are we going to be stuck in this nightmarish world? Was that another dream? Is it Did a I dream? Out again? <laughs> Within a dream? Within a dream? Where are we now? Look at this place. I don't want to think so, but maybe this is all just going on in my head. I mean, that's very real. I could have had a car accident, and now I'm living unconscious in a hospital bed. I don't know what's real anymore. <laughs> you and me both, Harry. Sybil said Cheryl was heading towards the lake. But the road to the lake is blocked. Aren't there any other roads? Lisa would probably know. We were just talking with her. Where'd she go? Whoa, and what is going on with this camera angle? And that circle. So there's all this black magic stuff going on in Silent Hill. People going crazy. People think they're summoned. You know, this devouring of the darkness. Poltergeists. Alternate worlds teleporting back and forth between them due to certain rituals or, you know, practices or whatever it may be. Can we save? Is that what this is right here? Lisa, who is she and why is she in that world? Sybil, you know, in, in the real world per se. Dahlia, what does she know? Is she really just crazy? It still says we're in the antique shop. Certainly don't feel like it. But the game says we're still in the antique shop, so... We'll take it at face value, I guess. Certainly doesn't look like any antique shop I want to shop at. Ooh, I wonder what it's going to be like outside. We're going to be in like... Oh, already. Okay, so let's take a look at the map real quick. We're already in danger. It still has that circle next to El Camilla Hospital, or El um, that is not fully, I guess, fixed, or like checkmarked. And it looked like, she said, Bachman Street heading towards the lake, right? Uh, that means we'll have to cross the bridge, I, I presume. So we are going to just run for it. Oh my goodness! What are those things? They remind me of the um, the imps from Castlevania. That's what they remind me of. All right, so we've got quite a bit of running to do. Get away from these guys. And I can hardly see. Oh, hello there. Um, 
where do we go? Okay, the camera is definitely showing me something there, which is worth noting. But man, these uh, these imps are relentless. Can I go in here? I can. Okay. Where even am I? Hope there wasn't anything else to find out there on the streets, cause, cause, geez, there was no way I was finding it. Running around like that. Where are we? Do I have a map of this place? So I'm in Silent Hill Town Center. Okay. Is this like the final level where the, all of Silent Hill has become the alternate, you know, dark reality or or what? Don't answer that, obviously. If I have any questions that I'd like answered, I'll definitely ask them at the end of the game. So it looks like there's some stairs to go up. So I guess we'll do that. Is this where we came from, or what's going on? No items to pick up or anything like that? Okay. Would you like to play a game? Okay, so it's showing that that symbol. Is that is that Cheryl? I think that's supposed to be Cheryl. That's gotta be torture for him to see. Cheryl. She looks all like bound, and uh, obviously not comfortable. And she's saying, you know, Daddy, help me. What does that symbol mean? What do all these symbols mean? I don't know. But I guess we'll just head up. There's not much more to do, right? Aw, oh, man. We got enemies to fight. It's gotta be on the other side. Anything over here? No? Alright. Well, let's see. Are they the imps? Are they gonna jump all over us or what? What am I up against? I can't even see. What am I fighting? Something over here? No. And then it's gotta be something over here? Yes, it sounds like it. What am I fighting? Is it this thing? Oh! That's not what I wanted to happen. That was all intentional. Whoa! What is that thing? Some sort of monster bug. So the question is, how is it going to attack me? Is it going to track my footprints? Oh, can I chop, chop, chop? Oh, okay, that obviously did not work very well. I think there are no immediate exits I have. I can see some sort of circular areas in the ground. I'd imagine that's where it pops up from. Let's bring out the shotgun. Just because we don't have a lot of ammo and it doesn't look like the swinging is going to be all that helpful. Where is it? Oh, there it is. And... What? Where are you coming from, bud? The, like, shadow. Alright, we got, we got one shot in there. There's like a shadow that precedes it each time. Shoot! Oh, dang, that didn't work very well. So we got a couple shots in there. It looks like it goes for one initial attack. And then, uh... Oh, that was really bad. I keep assuming every time I hit R2 that he'll lock onto it, but it's not working very well. We could use a health drink. I'm gonna use a first aid kit. And that took us all the way from flashing red to full. So, that's... That's reassuring. So the first thing we want to do is get out of the way, turn around. No, Harry! Harry, you gotta shoot it! You gotta aim at it! Alright, where's it coming from? Aw, oh, man, it definitely got us there. Darn. It's tough to get more than one shot in. Where's it coming from? Yeah, I can really only get in one. That's okay. So we can do that. One shot. Two shot. Oh! Three shot. Is it dead? 
Oh. Nope, it's alive. What's it doing, though? Is it going to break through the glass? Give us an exit? It is. Okay. Neat, neat little mini boss. I can appreciate that. We'll reload. We have 30 shots left with that. We've only got like 40 something shots left with the, uh, the handgun. Doing great. Doing just fine. We'll equip our axe again. Again, I haven't really found it that helpful, but we'll, we'll see what we can do for the time being. Oh, and we are back, and I hear a swoopy swiper. Oh, and we're on the other side. All right, well, I guess I'll first head over this way just to make sure I don't miss anything over here. Just looking at the map, it looks like it's a dead end. So I'm glad we explored that briefly. Now we can head to Sagan Street. Just kind of sprint down here. I'm sure if I tried really hard, I could maybe find some ammo or a health drink or something like that in there. It is just so difficult to see anything, and I don't want to waste any ammo. I, um, I think we're running this way, just based on what the map was telling us about where we can and can't go. I will be honest, I think this part's a little bit too dark. There's not enough for me to see, to the point that I feel like I'm just wandering. I don't feel like I'm doing much, like, purposeful gameplay at the moment. I'm just running, hoping I'm running somewhere I can actually go. And it looks like I'm supposed to be just keep going straight. So that's what I'm going to do. If there are collectibles or something like that hidden around, like healing or another gun or whatever it may be, it's not... Wow, that thing really caught up to me just like that. It's not going to make the cut because... It's too troublesome to run around with all these things going on. That hit me. Okay, but it, at least it didn't do a lot of damage. So, I mean, yeah, for the time being, we're just going to sprint towards the bridge and hope for the best. we got the imp things hopping after us. So I think those circle things are like intersections, so we should be getting pretty close. Yeah. And again, like I said, we could be exploring areas. Maybe there's like a hidden secret, but at the moment I'm not too compelled to actually explore it. Can we go down here? Oh, no, we can't. Great. How lovely. We'll try the other side. No. Can we go go this way, please? Thank you. Okay. How about this way? No. Harry, run. Can I go down this way? No, I can't. All right. Well, this is obviously a bit problematic. Um, the question is, where do I go? Right? I think... We could try going to the left or to the right. My one question is, I know that he had mentioned maybe Lisa will know. So maybe we're being directed back to the hospital intentionally. So I think that'll be my next, my next guess. So we'll head that way. At least start heading that way. Okay, I can at least somewhat see. It looks like that thing is catching up to us. It's uh, not like an alligator, or not like a bear, so my, my zigzagging is not being very effective. Oh, did I just run past the door? I thought I'd run too far. Nope. Alright, we're gonna have to turn around. Turn around. Nope, nope, don't get me. Don't get me, please. Aw, oh, darn it. Wow. That was rough. I ran into the pole. Can we, can we get up, please? Thank you. Okay. Yeah, of course there's going to be something there to attack us. Can we have, like, a moment? Just a moment. Ah, oh, finally. <laughs> I'll be honest. I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of the, the swarms of monsters. I think more so than being frightening, they just make me feel rushed and like I'm potentially missing parts of the game. Regardless, we're at like a semi-comfortable orange amount of health. So because we made it here, let's save. Maybe the circle for the hospital isn't complete because we haven't completed everything here. And 
Well, that's just because we gotta find Lisa or something like that. Let's take a look at the map and see if there's anything marked here. Honestly, I feel like this is something that could take forever to explore. Right, if I'm thinking Lisa's in here, I'll briefly check some of the first floor rooms, like the examination room, the, the rooms where we've seen a lot of the other NPCs. Not NPCs, but like, you know, other, other well, they are technically NPCs, but like other story-related characters, like that doctor. Hey. Okay, 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 we're good. Glad you're okay. Thank God you came back. I was scared to be here all alone. I didn't realize we had left. I'm here now. <laughs> Wasn't our choice. I'm really Harry and Lisa you. ship? <laughs> ship, ship, ship. Lisa, can you tell me how to get to the lake? The lake? You take Bachman Road. But what if that's blocked? Well, that's the only way out there. Hmm. Are you sure? There's gotta be another way. Well... Wait! I just remembered something! <laughs> Of course. What? What There's you got for us? Waterworks over by my old elementary school. Waterworks. It's been abandoned for years. There's an underground tunnel out there used for inspections or something. Gotcha. I remember hearing it runs all the way to the lake. So we got to go to this waterworks really? next to the elementary school. Go you underground. Can get to the lake from there. And then to the lake. I've and that's maybe there where myself, Cheryl's gonna be. So I'm not positive. Besides, it's all fenced off to keep people out. And it's not even There's a guarantee. A I've got to try. Yeah. Harry, don't go. Come with us. I don't want to be alone. It's so scary. I can't stand it. Yeah, understandably. How am Why I is she stuck in this world? <gasps> this may not be the safest place in the world either. I can't promise you anything, but I'll do my best to protect you. Ship, ship, ship. No. Somehow I feel I'm not supposed to leave this place. What does that mean? Oh, Harry, I'm so scared. I'm cold. Are you dead? Are you a ghost? Just wait here a little longer. Who are you, Lisa? I'll be back as soon as I find my daughter. If that ever happens. Harry? Oh, so we just up and left. Why aren't we taking her with us? All right, so... I was going to say, I, I would probably use the guide to make sure I don't end up running throughout the whole hospital looking for Lisa. But let's take a look at the map real quick. Oh, it's not going to let us take a look at the, the city map. I think the elementary school is on the other side of the bridge. Or maybe, maybe there's another... Maybe there's another elementary school out there? I don't know. Let's, um... I really don't want to go out there with all of the enemies. Let's, um... Let's, let's take a look. Oh! This music is intense, but it's really nice to hear that uh, we, we probably aren't going to be dealing with those enemies all over the place, which is really reassuring. The question is, where in the world is this other school? I'm trying to read this map. I see a bookstore on the right, um, top sales, a pharmacy, a post office. Yeah, I don't... I'm not... I'm not seeing another school, guys. All I can think of is if we'd have to go to old Silent Hill. Right? Like, just taking a look around at the map, I mean... Although it looks like we're only able to go in one direction. And that's forward. So I guess... Go forward, we will. What are we going to find up here? This is off 
awfully ominous. Whoa! Okay. So... <laughs> so we're on top of the post office. And we're fighting some monster moth. It seems like bugs are the uh, theme of this portion of the game. We'll equip our shotgun because I don't anticipate being able to hit the, the flying target with a melee weapon. The question is... Do I have a good shot at actually killing it? It looks like every couple shots, or like a cycle of two shotgun attacks is, is good. I've hit it with quite a few shotgun hits though, and it doesn't look to be taking too much damage, unfortunately. We'll use another one of our first aid kits, because we've got plenty. But, um... But, I mean, we're definitely taking some damage. It looks like if we kind of get around its back for a little bit, we can force it to turn around, and then we'll buy ourselves a little bit of time. But yeah, this thing is taking a lot of hits. Do we get something for killing it, or are we supposed to run away? Honestly, if I if I end up just having to run away in the end regardless, I'll probably just reload my save. Because we used a good amount of ammo on this thing. Okay, we live in, and that thing certainly is not. <laughs> and now we're out of the dark world or something? Did we just leave Lisa in the other world again? Is that what happened? So we could go down there. I do want to briefly check what's up here though. Is there anything of interest? It's like the water tower. Maybe we were supposed to come up here for a better vantage point during that battle. Maybe that would have helped. How are we doing health-wise? We're decently low. I'll use a health drink to put us in a more respectable, comfortable amount of health. Do we go through here? That lock is jammed. Okay. Then I guess we're just supposed to go back down the way we came up. What's it going to be like down here? Is this going to be back to normal too? It looks like it. With the roads and everything? It is. That's so weird. Let's see. I do just want to see. I want to go in here for the sake of being able to save. But um, I also want to see if Lisa's going to be in here. I don't think she is. I think she's a resident permanently of that other world. But that is so weird. It seems like the other world, the poltergeist thing, is always tied to some monster, right? That was the case in the first level, and and the case in the second, and yeah, Lisa's not here. Interesting. And like, that ritual took us back there, and there's there's so much to figure out. Is this all in his head, right? Like, I, I really don't know. I really don't know. I want to figure it out, though. This is a really neat mystery. You know what's not a mystery, though? The fact that we have such little ammo. We have 14 shots left with our shotgun, and we have, what, 50 shots left with our handgun. So, yikes. Yikes. And I'd imagine we still have a dungeon left to go, so that might be a little bit, little bit rough. But, regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys are looking forward to figuring out what's going to happen in the next section of the story. We're going to find that elementary school. We're going to find the waterworks. We're going to head underground and make our way towards the lake. I'd imagine we're getting pretty close to the end of the game. So I'm, I'm hoping some of the puzzle pieces come together. And if not, they're good food for thought that really, you know, it's going to keep me awake at night trying to figure out what just happened. But anyways, until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero. And this mission is complete.